Master Trainer Kiona Leah back with you guys again for another HBK Wellness Wednesday. By request, we are talking about a supplement again this week. I mentioned it briefly last week after my nutritionist put me on it that I would be willing to talk about it, but I didn't get feedback in time for the stream last Wednesday, so here we are this week, and of course next week we're going to go back to more putting your best face forward. Don't forget to comment below. I think I actually have three weeks worth of topics for this already in the queue. Make sure that you remember to message me if I haven't gotten to yours yet and you think your week is coming up. Don't forget to share and like and of course subscribe to the page and to the channels as much as possible. Now let's get into this. This one is a little tricky to say. Phosphatidyl... Ah, I knew I was going to get it wrong. Phosphatidylserine we think. There are actually some pronunciation guides out there when you look this supplement up and I will provide some links below in the comments for you guys to do a little more research on your own. Now I was put on this because I was having trouble sleeping as we started getting into more issues and probate and things like that after a death in the family. Trouble sleeping was one of the things that was shown in some studies to be a side effect of this supplement. So you really have to be careful and you really have to do a little bit of research. However, cortisol balance was shown very strongly in four separate studies to really be helped by the supplement. However, you have to be careful of the source. The four studies that were conclusive all looked at actually using a cow derivative in order to make a supplement. Many, and if not most, of the supplements available commercially are made from either cabbage or soy instead. There are different places you can derive this from, cow being one of the, the highest percentages of doing that. And that's where the studies on cortisol really shine through. Other studies using as much as 750 milligrams of this with a soy-based product were not showing as good results. So if you're really looking for this to balance your cortisol levels, you may want to make sure to really check that ingredients list Talk to your manufacturer if you need to and find out where it's sourced. And of course, has it been screened for potential issues with something like mad cow disease? Now, the other part of the research, and there's a lot of really great research out there, and you can even find this on places like WebMD and other places that really don't subscribe a lot to nutritionals, is this is very, very, very beneficial for the brain. It is a phospho lipid, which is part of the complicated name. If you notice on my bottle, you can see it just says PS100. You can even find it in just PS in a lower dosage. The 100 is how many milligrams are in my capsules. It really is very beneficial and it is one of the building blocks of your cellular membrane when you are looking especially at the cerebral cortex, a very large percentage of what is produced there as far as cellular and nerve endings are concerned, this nutrient really helps build. So regardless of whether it helps with cortisol levels or not, it is definitely going to help with balancing the brain and brain health. Many studies have been done and shown some beneficial effects to things like Alzheimer's, dementia, and simple aging of the brain. What I really loved about this when my nutritionist talked to me about it was you can really take it anytime. What she recommended was three capsules, or 300 milligrams, right before bed. This really helps work with the body to help it help itself. We have to remember that in a lot of ways, many studies have shown that the brain gets washed by that cerebral fluid, the spinal cerebral fluid, or cerebral spinal fluid, I apologize, when we sleep. The cells contract in size that allows more circulation, for that fluid to help really wash that out. So do you ever notice you go to bed and you're stressed out and wound up and you're upset and all these things are bothering you and you wake up in the morning and you still feel better. You may not feel great, you may not feel fantastic, but you do feel better. And that is because of some of that brain washing that happens. So if we're gonna be washing the brain and bringing additional oxygen, additional nutrients and other beneficial things to it, during our sleep cycle, why not amp it up with something that's really going to help it 
rebuild some of those cellular membranes as well. And this supplement, there are many studies, and I'll link a couple of them below. I'll link some of the articles with links to the studies below that you guys can look at. So highly recommend, but it is great for balancing that brain chemistry throughout the day. So if you get really stressed out, wound up, because I don't know, you're on the phone arguing with a lawyer or something, you can take one of these or two of these. Some of the studies showed as much as 800 milligrams of it per day for effects. Other studies, and what I personally am on, is 300 milligrams a day, unless I really feel like I get wound up and need more than that. Judge for yourself and comment below. Tell me what you feel. Have you had experience with this supplement? I would love to hear from you guys as well. And as always, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit those notifications, because I'll be back for another Wellness Wednesday, and we're doing belly camp next week in our workout class. So the class equip on Monday is gonna be something about waist cinching. Make sure you don't miss that either. In the meantime, I'm Keona Leah. I wanna see you guys move, live, and thrive. So I'll see you on the next one.